when I get to school, every morning pretty much kicks off the same. I've got to get unpacked and get ready for the day. I get my space organized by pulling out my backpack, getting out any notes, pens, and grab whatever worksheets we're using that day. Honestly, it's become kind of ritual, like setting up for a mission. Usually our instructor starts off with a lecture, running through PowerPoint slides packed with everything from system functions to inspection procedures. So yeah, there's a ton of note taking. Filling out worksheets, diagrams, charts, you name it. But it's not just busy work. Every detail matters. All this classroom stuff, it sets the groundwork for everything I'm actually going to be doing out in the real world. I used to think that the morning prep was just routine, but now I get it. It's about getting locked in, focused, and ready to learn, because in this job, the details aren't optional, they're critical. But here's the part I really look forward to. Projects. When our instructor announces we're diving into a project, whether it's tackling hydraulic systems, troubleshooting electrical components, getting hands-on with wiring and sheet metal, or even doing deep research dives into specific aircraft, it genuinely makes my day. There's something about projects that brings everything full circle. It takes what we scribbled down on paper and puts tools in our hands. It's real world stuff, exactly the kind of thing that I'll be doing every day in my career. Sure, sometimes it's challenging, and yeah, there are days I'm scratching my head wondering how to piece it all together. But honestly, I wouldn't trade it. Hands-on experience is exactly why I'm here. Projects mean I'm not just studying aircraft maintenance, I'm actually living it. And to me, there's no better way to learn. So, some cool things about our aircraft here is they are fully functioning uh, commercial aircraft that were formerly in service. So you've got all your luggage bays, you've got all of your adjustable seats back here. This one's slightly broken, we don't worry about that. Um, you've even got your lavatory all the way back here. I'm moving back to the front of the aircraft, uh, you know, it's really cool to be able to have this stuff at our disposal. Uh, it's really a blessing in disguise, in all honesty. Um, they are actually working on this aircraft to uh, make it more operational in terms of being able to start up engines, uh, being able to run through systems, being able to turn stuff on. Um, as you can see, when we were messing around with stuff, nothing was really turning on. That's just because we don't have the right components on the aircraft right now. But uh, give it a little bit of time, give it a little bit of uh, energy, and we'll be able to uh, get this thing actually working. Now the worst part about this aircraft is definitely shutting the door when we're done. This thing weighs a metric ton it feels like. I just took that ball off, that's fantastic. Let's just uh, screw that on and not tell anybody that happened. Um, so again, the worst part about this aircraft is closing the door. This thing weighs an absolute metric ton. It's usually a two man job, but if you got enough muscle mass, you can get it by yourself. So it's time for lunch guys. I'm thinking Freddy's today. So how about you join me and we'll head out to lunch. Uh, Fray's original double with bacon. Can I get that with no onions and no pickles? Hey guys, welcome to our hangar. This is where we do all of our training and all of our work on actual aircraft. It's really cool to be able to actually get hands-on with this stuff and get real-world experience in the career that we're going into. The first rule of being in the hangar, everyone's got to have some iPro. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to put on our glasses, 
These are my normal, actually, everyday glasses, so these will count, these will be good, plus I'll actually be able to see what I'm doing. If you follow me over here, I'm gonna show you all around with some of the aircraft that we got. We've got a bunch of different Cessnas and Pipers, propeller planes all around here, uh, some in various states of disrepair. Uh, but don't worry, we use all of them for different things. This one, we've got the whole engine cowling cut away, that way we can work on the engine itself while it's mounted on it. Uh, we've even got stuff like helicopters over here. Um, we've got jet engines galore. We've probably got about a dozen jet engines um, all around the hangar. This is a pretty big one. Um, got some smaller ones over here. These came off of like farm equipment, um, but they work on the same principle as all aircraft engines. Uh, coming over here, we've got our big um, GE uh, CF6 engine. These were on 757s, I believe, and these fans are huge. This thing is literally double my height on the stand. On an aircraft, it's even higher off the ground. This thing spins at hundreds of RPMs. This thing is a monster of an engine. Come back here, you can see just how long it is. Look at all of the tubing, all of the wiring on this thing. The amount of engineering that goes into these things is absolutely insane to make it all work as one cohesive machine. Now, if you guys want to follow me over here, I'll show you guys around our airframes. As you can see, we've got a couple other airframes over here uh, for some aircraft. Uh, this one we use for uh, paint practice. As you can see down here, we've already got some masking tape set up to redo the paint stripe coming across this. Um, I think we also use this for paint a little bit as well. Um, we got our Learjet here. This is actually a really cool Learjet. Uh, this is a Lear 25 and this was built back in the 70s. Really cool plane. We've actually got the tail section off so that we can practice hydraulics a little bit easier. Um, all the hydraulics and all the batteries are in the back. A few moments later. One eternity later. Over here we've got some specialized uh, kind of example trainer units. Um, this one is for all of our DI stuff and our windshield wipers. Kind of teaching us on a systems level how it all works, showing us the electrics, showing us the hydraulics for it all, and really getting us a at-large view of everything that we do. Uh, really cool uh, pieces of equipment that we get to use here. Um, same one over here, this is our landing gear one. This one's actually functional, so we can actually turn it on and then we can actually stow landing gear. Pardon, that is very loud. And then we can drop it back down. Pretty cool little unique thing that we get to do around here. Um, again, this is a really cool facility. This is a really cool program. It's awesome to be able to work with this kind of stuff every single day and I can't wait to show you guys more as time goes on. So that about wraps it up for my day at school. Uh, the weather's getting really nice outside, so let's go ahead and go for a walk for a little bit. Uh, let's just enjoy this nice weather. Come along, guys. So you may be wondering, Aiden, with you recording everything in life, how are you gonna keep it upbeat and entertaining? My goal isn't to make every moment grand. My goal is to make every moment matter the absolute most. I want every little bit of life to be enjoyable, whether that's a calm stroll through the city like we are right now, or an exciting trip to somewhere new. And I can't wait to have each and every one of you guys join me. 
Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I really enjoyed having you guys along for a day in my life. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. That way you get notifications whenever my next video comes up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Can't wait to see you guys again.